So I get this question sometimes regarding like aiming in the bottom corner closer to your hand. So I figured I would make a video talking about sort of not really the principles behind aiming, but more of like maybe reassurance to some of you guys that have been struggling with this. So first of all, this is something I actually noticed like pretty early on to playing Osu. I started noticing that like when I was relatively new, I think I held my pen like super low and I remember like my pinky would like sort of rub against the tablet on, especially on easier maps. And then over time, Time. So, okay, it, it, my grip is, is a little strange, but <laughs> one of the reasons why I tell people that like, it's kind of tricky to like, carbon copy my grip in particular, because like, over time, I found that like, okay, since I aim like this, like this bit, or like, I guess the like flexibility between my middle and ring finger sort of like changed over time. If I tried copying my own grip, like back when I first started playing, it probably wouldn't work. I think like when I first started, my grip was maybe something more like this. But then my ring finger had, I guess, become more flexible and my pinky. And so I was able to like move around a lot more down here. So a bit of a tangent, but the reason why that's important is because I used to kind of struggle aiming down in this corner, but I found that over time, I sort of became more flexible in my ability to like have my fingers pull back and still be able to control my aim very smoothly down here. And I find, so, okay, personally, let, let's say I'm, I'm playing like cross screen or like big jumps, right? My, like these two fingers actually touch my palm uh, when I'm aiming. So like when I move like this, then yeah, the, these fingers kind of like pull back and they actually touch my hand, but there's like still enough flexibility here for me to like make whatever movements I want. And just for reference, if I tried doing the same grip in my right hand, like first of all, like it just feels really weird. Okay, I guess obviously because um, I'm, I'm not right-handed, but when I tried doing the same thing where, uh, okay, okay, you can't really see, but you get the idea. If I try doing the same thing where I, like I have my fingers touch my palm here, like I just have absolutely no control. Okay, you can't even see. I guess it's better if you can't see, but um, yeah, you, you get the idea. So when I started playing, and, and this is sort of a tangent as to like what exactly I was focused on as a player when I was pretty new. Whenever I would watch replays of like top players or, you know, replays of other people playing the game, I would watch the cursor movement specifically. And like, so really old Osu replays, like, the replay data was saved in like a really minimal way basically so like the cursor movement didn't have much detail and it was very like smooth and, and snappy but i saw that cursor movement and i was like oh my god okay if i want to be a top player i need to figure out how the heck these guys move their cursors so smoothly Th this is sort of what led to me like inventing the auto method i guess or I it didn't have a name back then but like when i started playing i was like oh, just practice like moving so perfectly and i started as a hover player i actually still hover so yeah i spent so much time like sometimes i would sit in class this is like middle school okay or like early high school and i would sit with like my pencil in my hand and i would try to like hold my hand completely still and like just not have my hand shake at all. That, that was sort of like what was going through my head during high school, okay? <laughs> the point is that I really spent a lot of time focused on like cursor stability in particular. And okay, there's one pattern in particular. Let me see if I can find it for you guys. I remember like not being able to aim it very comfortably. Oh man, yep. Okay, look at this pattern, guys. Okay, my, my hand cam is kind of blocking it, but not really. But look at this. Look, look at this. What? you're like going like all the way to the bottom corner like this is this is like this pattern was so hard like i could feel my fingers like straining on this pattern i was like oh man this is impossible it was like kind of rng for me just because like my finger flexibility was like not that good in the bottom corner but it's just sort of something that like my fingers adapted to it, it's kind of like um you know gymnasts like if you're like a beginner gymnast like you don't have much flexibility but then like you practice stretching and things like that like if you've ever tried learning how to do like splits or any sort of like body flexibility type thing um you'll probably know what i'm talking about like just like trying and struggling will lead to your body becoming more flexible and in general you'll have more control or also if, if you tried doing yoga or anything like that as well so a couple other tips for anyone struggling with the bottom corner so first of all as i've discussed your finger flexibility is just kind of naturally going to improve as you practice more i think a lot of people like run into this problem where like whenever they play like let's say your grip is kind of like this and then you can't aim on the side closer to your hand because like you just make a fist and now like how are you supposed to control anything back here so putting your hand further back and sort of giving yourself that room 
Because chances are you can flex out like this and still move around much more easily than you can like make a fist and, and try to aim comfortably like this. So another thing you can experiment with is like putting your hand sort of like forward like this and now you sort of have room. Some people even like lift or I guess they at least have their elbow anchored but they sort of like have their pen like this. So there's a lot more mobility. Um, just make sure you're not straining your wrist too much when you do this because it can get into some awkward angle. So yeah, like, this is definitely not good, but uh, yeah. And also I think having more like wrist movement, if you want, like you can make a fit like, okay, a lot of people I think like have this whole side of their hand like on the tablet and there's like no flexibility in trying to like aim to the, like I can't even reach <laughs> the, the edge of the screen here, but like be willing to like pull, like almost like rotate your wrist and arm back kind of like if I like, if I do this, then it becomes a lot easier to aim back here. But yeah, hopefully that wasn't too much of a tangent. Just wanted to share my thoughts on this since I think I get this question every now and then. But uh, yeah, that's about it.